one thing uh, which is which I just realized that uh, uh, they are living just like a family you know we rarely see uh, this kind of unity uh, in other countries hello beautiful people welcome back to another video and this video was requested to me by many of you guys and let's quickly read the title of this video so it is how Malaysia did the impossible COVID-19 Malaysia so guys if you are new in my channel you can subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos like that and uh, without wasting any more time let's get started imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis you have a new leader and several states have new governments yeah, new to add to this not only is your country facing political crisis but also economical health and defense and then the worst thing that could ever happen happens the coronavirus hits malaysia malaysia was in some serious trouble but don't you ever underestimate the power of malaysia exactly i saw the first part look how they are helping each other here are 15 ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Amaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical wow. supplies. Number 14, top doctor. Dr. Yeah. Noor Hassan Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world wow. at fighting the coronavirus. And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Okay. Number 13, the movement control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off, and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, indirect volunteers. There are so many people that helped out and volunteered and did so many different things, like food delivery. Yep. You can see how they are preparing the kids. Temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. Just For like example, China. the largest agro okay. park in wow. Asia Look was able that. to be built into a hospital in three days. Number oh, 10, wow. the Tube Lake Cluster. The Tube Lake Cluster complied with any order from MOH and they though. never complained yes. even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number 8, wow. universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number nice. 7, stipends. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. Number 6, ignoring politics. Great. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now that is okay. really cool. Okay. Number 5, protecting the most vulnerable. Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number 4, Malaysians returning home. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, oh. free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two-week quarantine. That is Number great. three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers, and so Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable, mm -hmm. and so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE, college students made PPE, even wow. the Malaysian born with no arms didn't oh. let that stop her from Super. making PPE. That's great. Really great. And number one, most important, is teamwork. It didn't matter if you're a celebrity or an average person. It didn't you're matter seen. your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. 
all Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible, to go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia, to now being one of the safest countries in the entire world. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. From, you know, from nowhere to everything. to thank all the Malaysians that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures, and specifically Pacific Baku, who's a motorcycle rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can find links to their channels in the description. So thank you to all of you who helped make this video possible. Great. Super. So guys, the video is over and uh, to be honest, I'm shocked after watching this video. Why? One thing uh, which is which I just realized that uh, uh, they are living just like a family. You know, we rarely see uh, this kind of unity uh, in other countries where, you know, uh, they treat you on the best basis of uh, their religion, culture and uh, your sect and uh, your country and things like that but uh, in this video i saw unity which is really great so much love for malaysia from pakistan so guys that was my reaction if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos like that and uh, suggest me more videos in the comment section as well and uh, share your thoughts on this video also so that's it for today see you in the next video till then goodbye have a great day